The project to promote camels started way back after a devastating drought which happened between the year 2008 and 2009. And in that time, the Kenyans, especially the pastoralists, lost a lot of animals. VSF Swiss sat down with the affected communities, especially in Isiolo County. And the community then requested that the best way to support their most vulnerable members was through uh, restocking using the camel. Community anasaidia sababu ako na maziwa, ako na ganyama, kila mahali anapasaidia. Kama ugami ya moja leo, naweza upeleka soko, nauza, naenda kwa wholesale, nanua chakula, nanua kila kitu ya kutosha kwa nyumbani, kusaidia watoto. Camel milk is uh, important for the nutrition of people, both of course producers and buyers. It has a higher content of vitamin C and that makes it better in assholes where access to vegetables and fruits is hardly possible. The camel is, has a longer lactation period. This specifically has addressed the needs of the children under five, the elderly, pregnant and lactating mothers who are usually left behind at home when the animals migrate in search of pasture. Mzee anashika gamia, anausimamia, na mimi na msimamia maziwa yake ile nauza na mbatia watoto kunua chakula hivyo. Uh, VSF Swiss embarked on this project supporting the groups with the equipment, uh, storage facilities, the transport. Tumepata coolers ya kuweka maziwa, tumepata jaraneta, sababu wakati stima mapotea, tunaweka mafuta. Tunaandalia maziwa ita kuharibika. Tumepata gari. Pada tunapata cooperative, tunaenda mbele tu. Tuta asara, baida tumepata, utote tumesomishwa, tumenunua gamia yetu. Nusua gamia, samani sisi tunajua tu fresh na susa, lakini bada tunapata hii msaidisi ya wadonat, umetufundishwa, kitu umetufundishwa, kutengeleza yoga, kutengeleza cheese, kutengeleza chocolate. Iyo yote vida tunatua kwa mzua gami. The year 2024 is the International Year of Camelit, a platform to showcase the benefits that the camel comes with. Harding camels is a solution in the face of climate change in the sense that the animal is best adapted to dry conditions. Their browsing it helps them not to pull out grass and therefore they are able to sustain that biodiversity in the rangelands. That also they have moved quite long distances, they are able to spread their seed through dropping down in different areas. Ikienda hapa siolo hii nadhani tu wanyama anajaa kwa nini. Na gamia zamani watu nadhani tu ni wanyama tu. Saa hii kutoka serikali natambua gamia. Saa hii gamia ni mali muhimu sana. <tipos>